So that was Johnny Walters um, last week and clearly frustrated, used the words Joe embarrassed. Um, there, was, there was an element of, okay, a Ryan Giggs side, how are they going to set up? You can't really take into it too much the fact of what they did in friendly games. So there was an air of, okay, let's have a look at what they're doing. Within five minutes, it's fairly evident they are playing an expansive 4-3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. The front three, very, very narrow at times with license to roam, Garrett Bale going into different areas. Now, I suppose the point I want to get onto here is Ethan Ampadu, after five minutes, looked like a Rolls Royce. This guy. Yeah. So he's the holding midfielder. Yeah. We're playing a compact 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah. And John made the point, on the pitch, you should be able to adapt. Now, sometimes it's easier said than done because the game's going on 100 miles an hour. Yeah. You're doing one thing as a front two, your midfield's doing something different, you're not singing off the same hymn sheet. I felt it was fairly obvious, but again, easier said than done, sit up in the stand commentating on the game. So they were constantly getting out. The reason they were getting out was because the two centre forwards, which was Callum Robinson, and, and Johnny Walters were stuck in between. So it wasn't as if they weren't putting in the graft. Yeah. Likewise, behind them. But what was happening was, as the ball's getting transferred, this was happening. He was coming into pockets because the midfield two for Wales were, very, were basically occupying our front two. So he was having the freedom of the park. So the midfield two for Wales kept, stayed up, yeah. occupied our two. Occupied our two of Conor, Conor Hurahan yeah. and, and Jeff in the centre of the park. So basically, he was playing in between our front two and our centre midfielders, freedom in the park to get on the play and dictate proceedings. Yeah. Now, at club level, which I alluded to before, if this was Burnley, this is what would happen in my opinion, or this is one way that you can stop that. So as a front two, you work in tandem, 10, 15 yards away, balls in the left side centre half, you want that going one way, so we put it to the left back, Ben Davis. Now as that's going, one of the centre forwards ensures it doesn't go back to him. Yeah. He gets a little bit of pressure as he's travelling, but as that's happening and as he's making up this type of distance, the second centre forward has to drop in on Ethan Ampadu. Yeah. Doesn't have to mark him on goal side, but he has to be in and around him to ensure. Just block the pass. Yeah. If it does go to him into the centre, he's on him. Yeah. So, firstly, show him down this side of the pitch so it's so. Your 10 teammates behind the ball, nine plus your other centre forward, knows it's staying in this side. So that's the onus and the responsibility on the centre forward. But also, the other centre forward doesn't let Ampadu have the run of the park. Yeah. And behind that, you're still in a very, very solid shape. Yeah. But there's that obviously wasn't even, happening. Even the option for Christie to press up here and make this li lad's life exactly. even more miserable. Okay, that is unbelievably simple. Yes, it is. Like there's Leinster Senior League teams yeah. who do that. What, Why? Well, like, what the hell's going on? Grey areas, because we don't have any type of consistency in the way that we play. So we need to have, as soon as you come into a squad, this is how we play. Okay, you can get fine-tuned from game to game, depending on the opposition. Yeah. But these are basics. These really are basics. And what doesn't help, I suppose, is going from 4-3-3, 4-5-1, whatever way you want to call it, one yeah. sitter, yeah. two sitters and a 10 when Wes was playing to a 4-4-2, which we played, and Callum Robinson, John Walters playing together for the first time. And what were Robinson and Walters doing? They were caught in between. So the ball was getting recycled, they weren't getting enough pressure because of the distances weren't right. But you have to give Wales credit. They made the pitch as big as possible, yeah. and they also dropped really deep. So look at that now. It's look, harder space to cover. Ah, so yeah. hard. Yeah. So if you can't get pressure on that ball, what I will be saying here, and which I used to scream at Kevin Doyle and Robbie Keane, because we never had that luxury of I, I already know what, you're, I know what you're going to say. Like, drop in. Drop in. Drop, drop in. Into the, Let him have the ball here yeah. and press him from there. Exactly. Again, it's painfully simple. Yeah, I, Joe, I, I... It's painfully simple that at no stage in that first 10, 15 minutes when Ampadu's looking like Pirlo. Yeah. That at worst, whatever... Look, okay, it's quite ambitious yeah. in a way to try and fix things. and let's, let's press them and put them in a corner and you sit in him and, <clears> you know, you come up and let's really get tight to them. Yeah. Fair enough. It's, it's kind of criminal and the two lads on the sideline that this couldn't happen, where everyone says, right. Drop in. Halfway line and back. Give me the name of a team that plays like that. The best at it in the business. Narrow, compact, 4-4-2, four, four, and that type of shape. Atletico. 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 There you go. So why, I mean, again, 
That, I mean, now you're laughing because it seems that simple. But just someone there has to say, right, we're being killed. Yeah. That 17 year old looks unbelievable. Let's just drop. Yeah. There's too many spaces, there's too many gaps. But there, was, but there was more issues involved in that. So if we bring it on a little bit, yeah. so we take these out of the equation, right? So let's have a look at the back four and the front three for Wales, right? So there's our narrow, compact 4-4-2. Four, four, we had Joe Allen, midfield, marauding on, Ampadu at the base of it, dictating proceedings, right? Remind me who was there with them. Uh, it's lost me. Okay, Grant. Who was in midfield? Who midfield was in midfield number three. with, with um, Joe Allen, lads, can we remember? It'll come back to me. Yeah. Um, so basically, this was the front three, okay? Yeah. So this was happening time and time again. Garrett Bale started as the focal point, okay? Yeah. On the right was David Brooks, who was doing really well at Bournemouth. Yeah. And on the left was Tom Lawrence from Derby County. They are clearly given license to go and roam, yeah. okay? So that's fine. As a back four, all you need to do is stay in place. If you cannot affect it, stay in your places. Bale was coming into these areas. Lawrence was taking that place. If you actually think back to the goal, the Conor Roberts goal, our centre-halves got dragged into these areas here. Yeah. And this whole space was left just vacant where they were able to go and exploit. Mm -hmm. I think when you're dealing with players like Christian Eriksen, and in particular Gareth Bale, mm -hmm. you have to defend as units. So that's just the back four. Ideally, in front of that, you want one sitter. We didn't do that. But you need to make these spaces... Small. Yes. Yeah. The more you get dragged and the quicker teams play against you, that's deadly. Mm. And, I'm not, and they're not just one-dimensional now, Wales. They're able to play with these type of players as well, where they are very, very effective. And the rotation that they showed causes so many problems in these areas here. Mm. So there was that problem with Ampadu at the back, but also in these areas, it was poor. Really, really poor. It can't be the first time our back four have come up against a front three who like to drop in to midfield spaces and rotate. No, and then it's a, just a knock-on, isn't it? So we've spoke about Johnny Walters' top end of the pitch, not quite. And do you remember him saying about if you're half a second off, yeah. you multiply that by 10, yeah. then you've got problems. It gets scary. You've yeah. got real, real problems. Yeah. So that's out of possession. In yeah. possession, we know about how difficult it can be for us. And their full-backs were good. Full and really they really good. pushed on yeah. as well. And then what they also did was, like, these are simple patterns, Joe. Simple patterns that you team players, and I've spoken before about the detail that's needed to give to these players, our players, that I don't think they're getting, right? So the detail is, Brooks comes inside. What do you think when Brooks comes inside? Where's the space for the fullback? Yeah. There. Yeah. Got it for his goal. It was over this side where Bale had Duffy and Clark dragged into these areas. Brooks was involved. Giggs has given him the license yeah. to go on. He and backs I, up play. And I presume what you want there is him still not getting dragged out too far and whoever's in the left wing going exactly. back Exactly. You want us to remain as that unit. Yeah. So protect, Are they going to score a goal from out there? No, yeah. they're not. But when you get dragged out into these areas, if he hasn't tracked and you get dragged out into no man's yeah. land, then it quickly becomes a back three. So rule number one him. at all times is protect this unit, the integrity of this unit. Don't have players getting dragged. Yeah. If the right back's gone, our left winger goes with him. Vice versa on the other side. If Bale drops in, let a midfielder picking up. Yeah. Protect this, protect these spaces. They're not being drilled. They're not. Well, it, does, it certainly doesn't look like it. And a lot of what you see looks like it's off the cuff. Because, let's not forget, he's five years in the job. Mm. Okay? There has to be, take it at club level, right? I thought there was a really good article in the paper this week about we are the Norwich of football. Did so you read much, it? Yeah. Dan, I, didn't, I didn't actually get a chance to read it. Dan McDonnell. Brilliant. Yeah. I see all the, all the players that we have in the squad places where their respective clubs are in the league, in the Premier League, the Championship, divide them, we're ninth in the Championship. Okay. Daniel Farke, Norwich manager. A little bit of criticism last year, they tore up the rule book, the route that they were going as a football club, a technical director, very European, he's coming from Germany, yeah. recruitment changed, big earners went, people like Wes Hulan, Russell Martin, bang, we're starting from... So there was going to be problems last year. Yeah. But you can see what the they are trying to do. And I would say, in fairness to O'Neill and to Roy, they get less time with the players, <coughs> so you can probably only work on certain basics. But we probably are talking basics here. The other thing, I know you want to get on to Kenny. Yeah. Like, we talked to Walters about when Ireland do have the ball. Yeah, look, just, just briefly, I want to get on to this because I do want to get to Kenny. So if we bring that back to the Welsh back four, right, yeah. with the front two, for instance, right? So I'm talking about options on the ball and look, I've been there. I've been there in the Irish short where 
where we're sitting here in a studio saying, why can't we pass the ball? Yes. Okay. All right. So I just want to break it down very, very simply. Stick Conor Roberts back in there. So I see a lot of... So this is us in our 4-4-2 shape. So where's the... He's left back. you got two right backs in there, John. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, there we two, go. Three. So there's the front tray, right? Okay. So here's, here's our narrow 4-4-2. Yeah. Okay. So Seamus Coleman, I see a lot when he gets into these areas and advanced. Yeah. And he doesn't have options on. It's never easy for us. And do you know why Wes Houlihan shone for us? Because of his movement off the ball. And what he was able to do on the ball? Well, obviously that, yeah. the shoulder, yeah. create the space for himself. Right. I could never do that. Jeff Hendrick, Conor Hurahan, Glenn Whelan. Mm. Most of the midfielders need options to pass to. Yeah. Seamus is able to, when under pressure, if he doesn't have that option on, to manipulate the ball, drive in his little meandering way with, with power and pace yeah. and create and, and create that time for himself so then the picture opens. The vast majority of our players can't do that. No. So they need options on the ball. So if you look at Seamus Coleman, right back, where's your options, okay? So, so show me what we are doing, not what we should be doing. What are we doing now? So Coleman has the ball here. He well, I don't think he knows what he's doing, realistically. The right, the you, don't, you, don't, you don't think our right winger? Our right winger won't know what he's doing. If, it's all, if he cuts the ball off to the line, the Welsh winger, he, does he move again? Our midfield, is there any type of movements where one runs off and one runs in to receive the ball? I don't think so. Okay, so what, so what are... I would say what... I would say that shape you have us in now, 4-4-2, yeah. four, four, Coleman has the ball. I would say what we are doing when Coleman has the ball is exactly that. Nothing's happening. So we're like mannequins to a degree. I honestly think within a four or five metre circumference around every player, I think, I think our two midfielders want to, and I think the nearest to Coleman sort of half shimmies over and says in a half-hearted way, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, but obviously I'm, I'm being marked, so don't give it to me. Yeah. But I just need to show everyone I am sort of showing. Before you move yeah. on to that, say for instance that's Conor Horan. What he wants then, he will be brave and he will show for that angle, right? Yeah. What he needs if he's getting severe pressure from Joe Allen or Ampadu in centre midfield. What he needs is a simple pass off. So he needs... Right wing yeah. to check in. Well, let's not forget, that was Cyrus Christie against Wales. Yeah. He was not natural in terms of having the ball with his yeah. back to play, which is one of, going to be one of the issues. So what tends to happen, especially if it's not Coleman, say it's Stephen Ward, yeah. long ball. Yeah. Invariably, a little clip, right. and, and they hope someone gets off him. So that is, I would say, in the main, that is what's happening. I would say other teams, I mean, we're talking about the difficulty for Callum Robinson and Walters to try and press this Welsh team. I would say when other teams are doing their homework on us, I would say they sit around and they say, this may just be the easiest team in the world to press. If we press these, they're in trouble. If we, so yeah, if we what, sh what should we be doing, and the crucial question, what should we be doing with the quality of player that we have? Right, so can't ask them to do what they can't do. If it's a four-four-two like it is there, right? Three or four options, which John Walters alluded to on the on the VT from last week. Yeah. Very simple. One of the midfielders comes and shows square, so that's your security blanket, right? Ultra security blanket. You're, you, when you say security off. blanket, you mean so if the ball's lost, this midfielder's behind the play. Very quick. He's in relation yeah, to yeah. being able to get it back, it. but he's also available as an option. Yeah. So even if he's under pressure, that ball can go square yeah. into a midfielder. And if he is under severe pressure, he can hit a first time into this area here, yeah. where we will have willing runners if the detail is given to them. Yeah. Shane Duffy to go back to, but they're the negative options. The positive options, your winger starts wide, but again, this is an issue because it was Cyrus Christie. If it's Callum Robinson, if it's Callum O'Dowda, who was on the far side, they start wide, you can't get it to his feet because of the Welsh winger's yeah. position. He rolls inside. Can you play it to him inside when he gets on the half turn and he yeah. gets at the Welsh back foot? Because, because their left full doesn't really ben want Davis to. He, he doesn't really want Davis to go in doesn't there. really want to go in there because that opens up space yeah. for Walters to run into. Right. So that ball's not on. So he comes inside, um, Christie, Ben Davis follows him, so it's not on. Okay. Where's the space, Joe? There you go. In here. Callum Robinson, Shane Long, maybe not so much John Walters, Aidan O'Brien. They cannot, Hogan, Maguire, they can all make this run. So they start as the front two. Yeah. When that happens and the timing has to be right, it's a simple ball down into the channel. He's there, there we go. See, I mean, if you're, if you're a right full, that's such a nice menu of options. And it, again, what strikes me again is this is pretty simple. So he's here. There might be nothing inside. He, he then looks for Christie to make a run inside. Yeah. You hope it takes Davis with him. And then 
he knows he's got around the corner run and it's up the line. And if you're the right, if you're the right full or the left full and the same thing's happening here, there's a much more, there's a sense of calm. Mm. And I would presume the other thing that happens pretty quickly is the first time it happens, say Davis goes with yeah. our player and the ball goes there. Yeah, the next time, what will Ben Davis do? Ben Davis is going to stay yeah. and then Cyrus Christie, you're on the ball and you can get turned yeah. and suddenly you're in on their back four. So then... And then you've pause, got more on, options. pause on that, right? Yeah. So, for instance, he stays narrow, he stays compact. Cyrus Christie comes in. Let's not forget Ethan Ampadu who is the whole yeah. midfielder. He locks on then Cyrus Christie rolling inside because yeah. they've cottoned onto it. Yeah. They've cottoned onto it or it's come from the sideline. Giggs says, be aware of that. I don't want Ben Davis coming out. I want to stay as a back four. Yeah. He comes into this area. So Seamus Collins in, right? Comes inside. Nothing wrong with this ball. Dropping it in, especially if it's a John Walters, in and around him with quality, yeah. and then what happens is your left winger gets involved, your right winger is in contention anyway because of his first run, yeah. bang, and you're in good possession, 30 yards and from the, the opposition And goal. the key thing is then, you have four Irish players close to each other in the opposition half. And not 20, 30 yards between yeah. all of them. Keith, I have to say again, I watch it, I'm not a professional footballer, I've played Leinster Senior League. And you get it. Like fairly, like I, I kind of feel jo like we're good to go out and try so that now. On, so on, on the subject we, it why, is, though, why are we not doing those patterns? Because we, because we'll say on the radio on Tuesday night or on Thursday, you'll come on and you'll say I didn't see patterns I liked. So that, it's lovely to get you to illustrate what you're talking about. None of that's rocket science. Yeah. But this goes back to where I think our fans are realistic. They know where we are. They yeah. don't expect us to be like Barcelona, like Manchester City. Yeah. They know. But if that ball is going that little bit direct to John Walters, what's happening behind it? Because as soon as the ball leaves, Seamus Coleman, Matt Dart, whoever it is, as soon as it leaves his foot, the left winger knows, bang, I'm inside. Yeah. We're keeping them in. Even if it's not a good ball, we have them in their half and we know how good we are at second balls, at scrapping. And then when that happens, your back four comes up. Yeah. So the distance between the front players and the back players isn't 60 yards, it's 35, 40 Ooh. yards. Totally. I would put it to you even. Those patterns you've talked about. Yeah. So say we're not doing Christy in off the wing and looking for it. Say we're not having this fella show. Say we are as basic as Coleman, Stephen Ward, Ender Stevens. Yeah. When you get the ball, lump it long to say it's Johnny Walters, ideally. We don't quite have that physical presence now. Shane Long come in a header. Yeah. So say it's lump it forward to Shane Long. I'm actually okay with how basic that is. As long as this fella knows James McLean. This fella knows the right winger, say it's Christie. And when he gets the ball, instead of even worrying Christie about showing in, they yeah. just turn on their heel, they start running up towards where the ball is going, i.e. Shane second Long. Balls. I, I'm absolutely fine with this being pumped up once Shane Long has two players running off and to flick it to. Whereas too often we see McLean back here, yeah. our right winger back here, Coleman lumps up the ball. Nothing is in cohesion. And it's isolated. Like yeah. the ball goes up yeah. and say Shane, say he wins the header or holds it up, he's isolated, yeah. he's swamped. Too often on his own. So again, and by the way, this, this, this goes very easily from a 4-4-2 into a holding midfielder, which I said was Sean Williams, yeah. Arthur or Hendrick or Dowdy, the narrow four. So as that ball goes up to your one centre yeah. forward, Shane Long, which I think we should go with, stay high, occupy the two centre halves, wait for the opportunity, goes up, then look what you've got from midfield. Yeah. Two energetic legs, aggressive midfielders, wingers, whatever side it's on, joining in. Yeah. And the other one balancing up play. But they all have to know Coleman is probably going, or say in, in, um, on Saturday's case, it's, yeah. it's um, Darty. They need to know in advance he's probably going to clip it long so they can turn on their heel early. Yeah. It's no good if he's kicked it and then they start running. No, exactly. It has to, the plan needs to be in place as to what you're going to do, yeah. how you're going to do it. But i tell you what, on the flip side of that, if we start doing that against Wales, it's horrible to play against. Because what happens in midfield now, you're so used to closing down players to feet. Yeah, you have to turn around. Exactly. Yeah. So that's not just the same for centre-halves. It's the same for centre midfielders. I'm totally okay if we become Wimbledon. And as effective We're as We're not Wimbledon. going to become... It's I'm just totally okay with it. If, well, Wimbledon had a plan. But that ball, you're going to be lumping it forward. It's just a clip over the it's, opposition it's midfield. 30 yards. It's 20, 30 yards. Yeah, yeah. clip over the midfield into our centre-forward's body. So he's the favourite to retain possession, not the centre-half. It's not a fight ball. And we've got the players to be able to do that. No I big we, issue. I hope we see some of this. Well, so do I. But... <laughs> <laughs> right in but, five years. But... <laughs>